What's going on internet? Eric Van Oltz here with Beard Brain and today I'm going to tell you how to shave with a razor and leave a little bit of mustache. So uh, as you can tell my beard has uh, gotten a little bit longer and my goal is to grow out like the beard stash or to uh, rock a mustache and uh, what I have noticed with the beard this length is there's really not too much distinction between like the scruff and the mustache. Kind of looks like it's all a scruffy beard, which is a totally cool look, but I'm looking for more of like a mustache heavy look. So to do that, you need to shave down the really the beard in the early days and leave the, the mustache when it's short uh, to be able to get that distinction. So I'm calling this the Van Holtz method. I'm kind of showing you the ways that I do it. There's a lot of ways to shave. There's a lot of guys out there showing you how to shave. This is just kind of the way that I found that works best for me. What you're going to need is a utility bar. Now it's important to get a utility bar versus just any old bar of soap. Our utility bar has a glide lather and it also doesn't like uh, really foam up really as large as like a shave soap. You can use a shave soap if you want, or you can use a shaving cream or whatever shave gel you prefer to do. But I recommend going to the utility bar because you can use it for so many different other things. Next you're gonna need is, see that? Brand new bottle of beard oil. New fragrance and everything too. Woo! Where can you get this? That's a good question. Uh, right now, nowhere, but if you're watching this video in the future, you can grab it at Target. It's a new fragrance that will be coming out this year called Stone Mason. Last but not least, your razor. Um, check this out. Supply. So, as you guys know, I've always been a fan of like smaller independent brands. That's why I recommend you go with Beard Brand, Beard Grooming Products. Um, but for the single blade, uh, razor. I kind of recommend you go with Supply. They're up in Dallas and uh, it's run by a pretty cool dude. He's hooked me up with one of these razors for you guys. And the thing that... So the thing that I really think is pretty cool about this brand is they have uh, essentially like three different settings for how close to shave you can get. Uh, on the default blade, you have kind of like the sensitive skin, so the blade's not going to be as close. And then you have your close setting, and you'll notice it has the two dots on the back. And then you have your ultra close, and it has three dots on the back. So, um, you know, depending on your desiring closeness, you go with what you want. But because eventually I'll be growing this out, getting a super close shave is not that important to me. So we're gonna leave it on the more sensitive side and hopefully get a few less cuts. So what you're gonna do is hop out of the shower. Your skin's gonna be still kind of nice and warm from the shower. And what I like to do is use, um, let's say like five drops of beard oil. And you're gonna work it into the area you're gonna to wanna to shave. Now, What this is going to do is going to kind of help soften up your hairs. It's going to help, well, first of all, smell amazing. Woo! And um, you know, kind of like prepare your skin for that cold, harsh blade that's going to be coming soon. Now with the Van Holtz method, I want you to think about your two hands and they're going to be functioning completely differently. Your left hand is going to be for the shave soap utility bar, you apply that onto the beard, and then whenever you need kind of like more lather, you just get that hand and bring it in. You're not gonna be rinsing off the hand when you get the lather on there. It's kind of like a, a little mini hack to keep that lather going without having to bring the bar back. In the right hand, you kind of wanna avoid getting the lather on your face because it makes your hands all slippery and the razor can fall out. The right hand is gonna be focused on the shape. So let's go ahead and uh, get it going. I'll show you how I apply my utility bar to my face. Ah. 
Hey, so that's what I do. I just get the bar, I apply it directly to my face. And then if I want a little more lather, this is really cool, you just go. Start rubbing it. And a little more water. Can help you get a little bit stronger lather, if that's what you want. Now, some of you guys out there like uh, kind of like an ASMR stuff. So what I'm gonna do here is just gonna shut up and shave, and then I wanna wrap it up and tell you guys a little bit more about kind of what I was doing. Let's begin.
So you'll notice what I was doing is essentially shaving with the grain of my hair. Now, I had let my beard grow out probably longer than I should have for a straight raise. What would make for a smoother shave would be if I actually took it down with like a trimmer to a really short length and then followed up with the razor from there. By having such a long stubble beard and using a straight razor, it's getting a lot of tugging and my razor would clog up a lot. So what I would recommend is always kind of take that down a little bit closer. I left it a little bit long because for YouTube purposes, I like to give kind of a bigger transformation. Um, but again, like for a better shave, I would not recommend that you do that. You'll notice that uh, I got a couple of cuts kind of down here. And I found that unfortunately, this is pretty normal for me, whether I'm using, you know, like a Gillette or a um, Harry's or uh, something like this. I think part of the issue has to do with the fact that my beard was a little bit longer. And uh, the other part is, I don't know, man, is that part of shaving? Do you just kind of get these little nicks all the time? You regular shavers, let me know. When it came to shaving, uh, the important thing with these safety razors is you want to keep it at about a 10 to 15 degree angle from your face. And what you also want to do is let the razor do the work. So if you're pushing into your face at all, then that's going to open up the opportunity to cut yourself. And maybe that's what I was doing here, pushing a little bit harder uh, into my face. So uh, my pain, my scars, hopefully you learn your lessons from me. Now I have some residual utility bar on my face. So what I like to do is go ahead and give it a good, nice long rinse and get off all that soapy goodness. To the best of your ability, try to pat dry your face. It's gonna be more gentle than doing that, but you know, worse things have happened if you end up actually just on your face. Ooh. And then the final step is actually where we began. Grab a little bit more of the beard oil. Get a few drops and woo, work it into your now shave face. The final step from here would be to apply a little bit of witch hazel or alum, oh, anum, anum, is that what you pronounce it? To the cuts so that they don't bleed as much. But of course, as a guy who never regularly shaves, I don't have any of that. And I'll be growing the stubble back uh, pretty shortly, especially as my mustache gets a little bit longer. So no need to clutter my bathroom with a little more products. Now be sure to grab that utility bar. You can use it, of course, as a shave soap, but you can use it to wash your hair. You can use it to wash your beard. You can use it to wash your body. Of course, you can use it to shave, or if you want a face wash, you can do that. It's great for traveling. It's a bar, so you don't have to worry about any kind of TSA regulations. And then the beard oil, of course, is a versatile product. Not all beard oils are created the same, let me tell you that. Our beard oils were formulated as much for your skin as they were for your beard. A lot of other beard oils I've read from customers where they've broken out with acne because the oils that the manufacturer chose were designed for the hair and not for the skin beneath the hair. And they are high on the, uh, essentially the pore clogging list. So we use oils that are friendly on your skin. And of course you can wear, use as a pre-shave oil or post-shave oil or a beard oil. A lot of different uses. And if you have any extra, just kind of roll it up on your arms. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Cheers. Keep on growing. Stop. Before you watch the next video, let me tell you, you are worth it. And what do I mean by that? I mean that you deserve to invest in yourself. You deserve 
to pamper yourself. You deserve to take care of your skin, your hair, your beard, and Beard Brand has your back with products, not just for your hair, your beard, and your skin, but also for your mind. 